84-year-old Giuseppe lives near the village of Caronia, very close to the beautiful Nebrodi Park in Sicily. It's famous for its black pigs, but we could only find sheep and goats on the day we visited. And a stray cow. Cardoons look like a giant prickly celery and taste like globe artichokes. The smaller wild version is a thistle and this is what Giuseppe is foraging for today. The spikes and stringy outer bits need to be peeled off before boiling the stalks. Back home, Giuseppe starts by making a stuffing for the cardoons. She has already boiled them until they are tender. Her herbs are parsley and garlic. Giuseppe adds these, along with about 20 grams of grated goat's cheese, to 400 grams of minced pork. She also adds some breadcrumbs. Cousin Grazia is helping. She cracks open two eggs. And Giuseppe mixes it all together with her hands. While Giuseppe stuffs each cardoon head with the meat mixture, Grazia ties them up tightly with string so the filling doesn't escape while cooking. You could do this recipe with celery, though the flavour is not the same. It's like a garciofo, selvatic. Giuseppe sautes the cardoon parcels in some of her family's olive oil. In a bigger casserole dish, she melts a spoonful of homemade estrato di pomodoro. This is Sicilian tomato paste that's rich and sweet and adds more depth of flavour. She then transfers the cardoons and ladles over some of her homemade passata. Raccogli i pomodori dalla pianta, le metti al sole due giorni quando maturano, poi li lavo, le lascio riposare e poi li faccio così, spezzettati, con il basilico. E bollo un'oretta, queste sono grosse, un po' meno, una volta. Quando mi serve la passo a sitaccio e vieni così. She sprinkles in a little bit of cinnamon and some pepper and chino. The vegetables now have to gently braise, covered for around four hours, which is plenty of time to make the macaruna. For the pasta, she is using around 200 grams of zero zero flour and two eggs. Once the dough has formed, she transfers it to her board for easy kneading. When it's smooth and silky, it's ready to use. To 
shape the macaroon pasta, the ladies use a long, thin stick called a busa. It is in fact a flower stalk from a grass which grows wild and looks a little bit like a smaller version of pampas grass. The ladies forage for them in summer when they can find them close to streams. She pinches a little bit of dough around the stick and then rolls it out using flat palms. Giuseppe dabs the busa with olive oil to stop the pasta sticking to it. Grazia joins in. Come va, Giuseppe? Eh, come va? Va, come va, va. Non si muore. Ristorante. Ha fame? Ha fame, sì. Ha fame, sì. She cooks a macaruna in salted boiling water for around three minutes. Giving them a good stir stops them from sticking. Always taste them for doneness. The pasta is now drained of water and the ladies spoon over the delicious tomato sauce from the cardoons. Giuseppe grates some aged goat's cheese and sprinkles this over the pasta. Questi macaroni col sugo del cardone sono pronti da mangiare. Va bene? The cardoons can be eaten at the same time or afterwards. It's up to you. Giuseppe and Grazia are our taste testers today. Buon appetito! A posto, eh? Buonissimo. Non credo che si Buonissimo. Giovanotte! Adesso Click subscribe for regular helpings of pasta grannies. And come back next week when we're in Sardinia with 86-year-old Maria who makes Malaredo's pasta with a tomato sauce. <laughs>